Hello everyone, what we would be doing in this particular video would be we'd be writing a program to check if, if a number uh, given is even or odd. It's fairly simple. Now, how do you do in mathematics to check if a number is even or odd, right? So you just basically divide the number by two. So for example, uh, 30, right? So you'll be dividing the number 30 by two and so on, so on. Eventually here, you will have a remainder that is zero, correct? And which is why you'll say that this number is perfectly divisible by two, thus it must be even. However, in the case of the, the other case, that is, let's say, if you take the number like 21. Now, if when you divide this number by two, after doing so on, so on division, you'll get the remainder finally as one, right? Now, since the remainder is not equal to zero, which is why it's not perfectly divisible by two, uh, thus we say that the number is odd. Now, in the case of mathematics, we do it this way. But in the case of coding, what we use is we use an uh, operator called as modulus. You can even call it modulus. You can even call it percentage and you can even call it remainder. You can call it by any of these names. So what this operator does is just like uh, plus, divide, multiply, minus. These are our operators. These do mathematical function. The percentage operator does the one thing that is it finds the remainder. So for example, here in the case of 21, when we use percentage operator by two, it basically would say that the remainder is one. And since the remainder is not equal to zero, we just will go ahead and print it's odd. Sim in the case of 30, when we divide it by two, the remainder or the remainder operator that we use will just simply say zero. And since it's equal to zero, we'll just say even. Now, this basically is a remainder operator. You can e even use it like, for example, 23 percentage 5. If I do this, this would be particularly returning 3 because when we divide 23 by 5, 3 would be the remainder. So, remainder operator does just gives us the remainder. So, in this case, what happens is uh, when you divide any number by 2, you have two options. Either the remainder would be 0. So, in that case, we'll say it's even or it will be 1. Then we'll say odd. Right now, how would you go about it? Is we'll be writing this particular statement here. So we'll be just writing if num percentage equal to equal to zero. So whatever value has been returned by this, right? So for example, twenty one percentage two. In that case, it returns zero. Is that value equal to equal to zero? Then it will we'll, we'll return. We'll obviously this particular statement will return true, and we'll just print even. So we'll have a look upon the code, and with which you'll understand if it's not equal to zero, we'll just say odd. Uh, so let's go uh, look at the code and with that I'll be able to help you understand it. So for example, here we've written PSVM and so on. We say int number equal to 29, right? So in that case, 29 obviously is stored in a variable called as number. Now we say number percentage 2. So here we are saying 29 percentage 2, what would be the value of it? The value of this would be, uh, the or what would be returned by it would be 1. Is that equal to equal to zero? No, it is not. So, which is why this if statement is not perfect, this part will not get executed and we'll just move to the else part, right? And we'll just go ahead and print that the number is odd. Now, simply we can also say, for example, let's say if the number is 20. So in that case, what would happen? We'll do 20 percentage two. Now, obviously this particular statement will return zero and zero is equal to equal to zero. So this particular part, right? Which is why we'll be implementing this statement and thus say that the number is even. Same, I'll give you one last example. For example, 41. Now 41 or let's say 43. So 43 percentage two, the remainder in that particular case, the operator would be saying that, okay, the remainder is one. So is one equal to equal to zero? No, it is not. So, which is why this particular part of the if statement will not get implemented, this else will get implemented, right? And we'll say that the number is odd, simple. So, that's pretty much about it. There are a few other methods that I want you to check. There's something called as ternary operator as well. So, for example, if you go to even or odd numbers and then from there, if you go to Java code uh, that's given here at prep and stuff, so in that case, here you will be able to find out that we can use ternary operator. What it does is, is reduces the number of lines in the if else statement 
to just one single line as you can see here so four lines got converted to one single line so a little cleaner code apart from that there's one more method which uses bitwise operators so which is something that you can check here and that's pretty much about it thank you i'll see you up ahead in the next video so we just launched prep insta prime subscription which is like 150 plus courses under one subscription so it has courses like c c plus plus java python artificial intelligence machine learning cyber security data structures comparative coding even company specific courses like tcs nqt infosys tcs digital amazon etc the link is in the description of the video go check that out i'm sure that you'll love that